Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new playthrough here on the channel. Today we are going to start our journey on Norland. Now this is a game that thankfully has been provided to me by the amazing people over at Hooded Horse. Um, it sort of seems to bridge the gap between like a RimWorld really deep experience where there's sort of crazy levels of... Uh, uh, people management I guess and, and, and colony management all that kind of stuff um, and it bridges that gap with that sort of game and your sort of standard city builder and I'm all here for it and I've, I did try and play the demo ironically this was meant to be video number two video number one was going to be me playing the tutorial and kind of getting to grips with the game but unfortunately the demo bugged out halfway through and I hit a long a really game breaking tutorial bug which means that i've only got half the game committed to memory and even that is loose because it was quite a quick tutorial so yeah we are going to be going into this one a little bit blind i guess you could say so if there are any people out there who have played this game since it released a month or two ago please feel free to backseat let me know if there's anything i'm doing wrong i'm going to have questions as i go along i'm going to try and figure it out as we go and hopefully have some fun so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see where this goes. But I've been itching to play this. I've actually got a couple of other hooded horse games on my to playlist as well, which will be featuring on the channel very very soon. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Norland is a complex game with a lot of new mechanics for new players. We highly recommend going through our brief tutorial. I mean, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> right here we go. Um, so yeah, there are reasonably deep mechanics for your royal family for your family members um, but it looks like the the behavior of your townsfolk is a little bit more streamlined than automated and a lot of it is actually kind of looked after automatically or by the various family members so we're going to create ourselves our little family tree here this is our language i believe is it not or is it our this more looks more like perhaps our sort of religion and beliefs and that sort of thing okay so we'll go through that in a second um so how do we want to start here i think maybe we start on a smaller level maybe we go husband wife and child we'll do we'll do that um do you know what i'm <laughs> hilariously i'm gonna keep that guy because he sort of looks like me we're gonna we're gonna roll with that have we got what about different hairstyles we could have to really flesh him out and make him look like me What else have we got here? Yeah, yeah, that's about right there. I mean, I should really probably make his hair colour a bit more grey, shouldn't I? How? Yeah, I think that's a middle ground between grey and black, which is sort of what I am these days. Um, okay, so he's thirty-seven years old. Do we need to give him a different name? Oh, we can. There we go. King Bob. We're just going to call him Bob. Uh, right, we've got character traits down here. He's monogamous. Never cheats on his spouse. That's a thing in this game? I think I did. Yeah, I think actually that was in the tutorial. Just, just before it hit the bug where I couldn't go any further. I'm pretty sure it was talking about how uh, having basically having sex with your wife would unsurprisingly increase his mood and everything else. But if he doesn't get any, <laughs> it can go off and pay for it somewhere else. But obviously that will undoubtedly cause problems for obvious reasons so yes what do we do so we've got monogamous is his positive trait so in the negative traits here we've got envious more prone to feeling envious towards others early balding why would that be a problem that just decreases his is a sex appeal or something i don't know tendency towards addiction reduces interest in the character from other characters by a 10 <gasps> Gambling addict, unattractive, lustful. The need for sex increases twice as fast. All, uh, all nervous breakdowns are severe. Um, what should we go for? I'm. Do you know what? I might leave it on envious. I think we might just leave that there. Uh, and in terms to the the better one. Uh, let's make him empathize with people. Let's make him an empathetic ruler. Right. Ah, this is interesting. So actually, the skills that he has dictates his years. 
So he's a skilled fighter and skilled commander. Uh, manners. We'll increase the manners a little bit. We'll drop. Trade is going to be. I think trade is really important in this game, so I kind of like to leave that there. Uh, management will drop down a smidge. We can perhaps learn that over the course of the game. I'm actually going to drop combat and command just down a smidge and just give us better trading and persuasion skills. Just to make him a bit more all rounded. Um, so, overall skills here. 15, trade 9. I don't actually know. What's the. Oh, it's a. Ta so that means talent. Okay. They're inherited from parents. The Lord, the Lord gains 5 more experience in their talented skills when training. When developing the skills level 15, the character gains a very powerful talent trait. Okay, there we go. Uh, he's a hedge during combat. This character has a much higher chance of decapitating opponents. Hand to hand combat and shield strikes are not included in this ability. Uh, undisclosed. Level up combat skill level 15 to unlock this trait. Does that mean that there's another trait to unlock? Okay. Right. Okay. So that is. That's King Bob. Uh, oh, we didn't look at this actually, did we? So his father is already. Is already set now let's take a quick look at these being former barbarians who lived on the border of the crimson empire which used them to guard its borders the kaiden value honor and martial valor above all their songs extol bravery and heroism with their material culture uh, sorry while their material culture is notably um, austere and aesthetic 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 so value strength is xenophobia is van i'm assuming that means they're enemies uh, production bonus in weapon and armor forges and archery workshop and then so that's basically that's a military focused following tanaya once a great culture and the initial founders of the crimson empire the tanaya culture eventually became too steeped in religious dogma which was one of the reasons for their downfall nevertheless they still retain many aspects of the old imperial culture from efficient bureaucracy to special ties with the loving family which supports them in their conflicts with their neighbors Okay, so values, intrigues, xenophobia is the mucker people. Production bonus in the paper workshop, so that would suggest that they're very good. At, that's what it obviously suggests about the... Um, uh, did it say something about the... I mean, I guess from a culture standpoint, if you go on culture, you're going to have a lot of written word, aren't you? Not, uh, knowledge of bureaucracy, uh, demagogy, and religion. On to the Maka, the oldest civilized people of Norland who created the first cities philosophies and inter-kingdom trade relationships the maka have long been overshadowed by the more enterprising tanaya tanaya sorry and for many hundreds of years have been in demographic decline philosophers and skeptics the maka are practical and prefer money and earthly comfort above all other values the loving family views the maka with suspicion believing that the seed of heresy still lives within this agnostic leaning culture Okay, and finally we have the Vaan, the native inhabitants of the central plains of Norland. The Vaan were pushed eastward by the expanding empire. Their seclusion and strict social antagonism against outsiders to their culture allowed them to not assimilate into the empire like other native peoples. Possessing ancient knowledge about the nature of Norland, Vaan seeks their unique path and harmony with the living nature and with neighbours. So that sounds a little bit more like a middle of the road you know, we're just trying to survive and slowly build up over time type of thing. Whereas these ones have got very strict focuses on stuff. So I think we'll just stick with Varn. I think we will We will sit, just uh, stick with that. That is fine. Right, let's do our wife. There we go. That's our wife, Bobette. Okay. So we'll see that she's beautiful. She's a gambling addict. Do we leave that where it is? So he's obviously got different ones here. So uh, low fertility, uh, uh, difficult childbirth. There's a high chance of death during childbirth. We don't really want that, do we? Gets bad thoughts if they haven't played dice for a long time. Thoughts of winning and losing are intensified. Um, do you know what? I'm kind of happy with it being on... Should we, should we make her an absolute just a dog, you know? Just, just want, wants it and needs it all the time. Quite cynical. Do we make her quite cynical? She's also a head chopper, hilariously. Mm. 
Okay. All right. Well, we'll leave that where it is at the moment. Um, beautiful and but cynical. Manners eleven, trade ten, persuasion ten, intelligence five, management three. Let's give us some more management skills if we can. Let's drop a few of these down. We don't want. So Bob was how old? He's twenty nine. Combat and command. I don't mind as much about. It. It's weird that she's sort of. Oh, that's why it's the talent thing there, isn't it? Let's do persuasion. Let's make her a diplomat. This character has the ability to convince any enemy king to forget all grievances and return to a normal level of relationships relations. So yeah, we'll make her we'll make her do that. She can be the uh the voice of reason. Do we need to No, that's fine. That can still stay as it is. Uh right, okay. Uh let's What sort of hairstyle shall we give her? Kind of like that one. And uh, yeah, no beard. What hair colour shall we give her? And uh, we'll make her a brunette. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And body wise, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because they don't have any legs. Okay. Um, so back here again. I'm actually going to leave the head chopper on. That's fine because he is strong in combat anyway. And here we go to Valiga. Um. So, Bob and Bobette have had a child, and what would they call their child? There's only one thing for it, really, isn't there? Bob Jr. Or should we just call... Actually, no, I've got a better idea. Bob the second. There we go. They wouldn't call him Jr. in those days. They would be given uh, letters or numbers, wouldn't they? Or numbers after their name. So, we're all Vaughn. That's fine. I'm, I'm assuming you can't have... Could you have different... Uh... Beliefs. So we're going to make them all Vaughn, but maybe in a future paper we might be, maybe we might experiment with different beliefs and what they want to do. Um, looks to me like they don't have anything going on here. Manners uh, is the talent. The character has a plus twenty-five bonus to interest from the opposite sex and can freely visit enemy cities. Okay, yeah, that's I'm I'm fine with that. Be a bit of a ladies' man potentially. We need to sort that hairstyle out though if that's going to happen. Why does he look so angry? Body like that. There we go. Here we go, everybody. Choose your starting province. Uh, right, so here we go. So this gives us an idea of the amount of wood, the amount of... Uh, the, uh, I'm assuming that's metal of some description or ore. Uh, flour and also wheat as well. Or the ability to, to grow wheat. Or that might actually be barley or rye. Um, so we've got Enchantment and Sparks will look like the easier ones. We've got Brightville over here that doesn't have any, uh, any metal at all, which is, I mean, that's okay. But I do think that for our first playthrough, given that we've only learned half of the, uh, the tutorial, I think we are going to start in Sparksville like it recommends. You can start the game as an independent province or immediately create your vassal kingdom by annexing neighbours. To do this, click the buttons on the borders. You can also create similar, king similar kingdoms for other kings by selecting the provinces and expanding their borders. Okay. I wonder if we could create our banner. I like it. There we go. Right, so what we're going to do, a province that is not part of any, under any other state... Create a state by clicking on the buttons on the province borders and determining its type. So... I'll be honest, this didn't... It didn't teach me this in the, um... In the demo. Set up your... And other provinces. Or is this basically just setting up the game so I can basically choose, like, my neighbours to have certain traits yeah yeah no I'm, I'm gonna leave all this i'm not gonna i don't want to overcomplicate this any more than i want to select the resources that your villagers villages will provide every uh, few days okay basic resource using construction yeah okay again don't mind too much right start scenario a member of your noble family has been captured by bandits during a recent raid on your young settlement. Your noble house has fallen victim to nectar. All your lords and 20 peasants are dependent on consuming nectar, okay? Your noble house is ruled by an exiled bastard. 
who, in order to survive, has learned to stand up for himself and thus has gathered a decent army. The decent amount of weapons is also available, but unfortunately the food was consumed on the last campaign and wood and other resources were lost. Um, I mean, do we... Do we just sort of... Uh, do we need one of these? I mean... Depends who it is they've got prisoner, right? I mean, if they've got my son, that's fine. But if they've got either the king or his wife as prisoner, that's only one person to potentially do the managing of the entire village. No crisis. Peaceful mode. Game difficulty is reduced and neighbours won't bother you unless you initiate aggressive actions. Uh, yourself, the number of starting resources has also been increased. Now, let's go normal. You want to play it as intended. That's fine. I don't want a little bit of a challenge. That's fine. We'll see how things go. Um, don't want any of that stuff. That's fine. Jo let's go. Let's see who's in prison, shall we? 20 minutes in. I've only just clicked start game. Only 200 years have passed since the end of the devastating religious war. The empire fell and its former provinces eventually became barbarian kingdoms. The church managed to revive hope, and peace and prosperity reigned over the ruins of the former civilization. Over time, the influence of the church only grew. But history is cyclical, and power cannot remain in one's hands for long. Some of this text isn't matching up with what he says. One after another. Hunger and poverty force people to abandon their homes and seek refuge in neighboring settlements can your dynasty unite the kingdoms and halt the advance of the dark ages from this moment on history is written by you Here we go then. Norland, the year 2898 since the creation of the world. 200 years have passed since the great Crimson Empire perished in the flames of the religious war. Its former provinces have become the barbaric kingdoms kept from mutual destruction only by the all-powerful Church of Mother Sophia. While the holy prophets speak of, impending, of the impending end of the world, in one of the small kingdoms, a dream of the birth of a new empire is taking shape. All right. Right, let's just pause for a second. Let's just take everything in. Uh, oh, dear. Bobette from Sparksville has been captured by the forest bandits. And there are forest bandits in our lands. That is not good news. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that this game just looks brilliant. It looks so polished. It looks so nice. It's like RimWorld 2.0, isn't it, in terms of graphics? Very much obviously designed in a, in a similar vein, but it just has that, I don't know, just the, the, the color palette is just so satisfying on this. Um, right, so let's see what we've got to start out with. So we've got here, we've got our dormitory, which is where all of our townsfolk will stay. There are seven in there. It has space for up to ten. That is where they sleep at night. We have a little market here, um, which the warriors and the peasants can come and uh, buy stuff should they want to. We've got the level one hall here. Uh, and over here, we've got lords' houses uh, for Bob and Bobette. And I don't know Bob the second whether or not he is going to have his own quarters yet, or whether he has to grow up before that happens. I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? Have we actually got four Lord's Houses? We have got four Lord's Houses. Um, right, so that is all that we start with. Now, the demo... Uh, sorry, the, 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 the tutorial didn't get that far, but I think it got far enough that um, I have an, a good understanding of what is going on. Now, you'll see here that we've got our... Uh, warriors we've got some uh some builders and bits and pieces every building that we have has to have a manager and has to have uh, so one of the the noble lords and families basically looking after it and, and sorting things out now the first thing we're going to want even though we have got food we've got rubataga which is apparently shite has a disgusting taste which affects mood 
Uh, we also have some flour. We have some beer. We have some medical solve salve. We've got wood. We've got ice. We, we've got enough to kind of get us through. And we've got some weapons and bits and pieces. We've got some paper for creating books. Uh, we've got plenty of holy rings, which we can give out to people when they get annoyed. But we shouldn't hopefully have to do that for a little while. So we're kind of good to go. One thing we are going to need initially, though, is to sort out the food. Because as far as I'm aware from memory, the uh, the food is pretty shit. Now, the brewery can make the alcohol, the moonshine that is needed at the end of every night. So apparently all the all of our townsfolk, they will eat and drink one unit basically every single night after work, assuming they've got enough money. We'll, we'll take a look at that and how much we're paying them and how much we're charging for stuff as well. And hopefully we can start to export as well. So this is where alcohol is brewed. One worker can produce 23 beer or 18, whatever that is, or 26 moonshine every day. And it's 20 wood to get this built. And we've got 500 wood. So I think we're okay. Okay, so that's our Rubataga field. Now, I'm going to remind myself what you can make with Rubataga. A drug den. Ah, the nectar. Place for peasants to relax after work. Here, alcohol is sold. So we can build ourselves a little tavern for them to come down and <clears throat> relax after work. We have a library required. We do need it. We are going to need a library, aren't we, at some point. We'll stick that, stick that up here. And we will also need so we've got barracks there. We've got some more of that's fine. All tree roads. Uh, we should get some river target fields in. I mean, it won't be that long before. Do I need more than one? Okay, we'll just go with the one for now. Um, right now, I've got to remember Bob. Action. No, we're not educating anything like that. I'm going to remember. How we tell people. To become builders and go and do their thing. Because I'm sure he has to do some kind of. I thought he had to do some kind of work on that. Or does he not? I thought he had to do something. instructions oh no oh he is already the manager that's why it was, it was already there that is why so bob is the the building manager effectively so what he's doing now he's conducting an inspection which is basically where he's assessing everything and then he's going to tell our builders what to do and i think those orders effectively last for a couple of days before he then has to do another inspection so we can speed things along a little bit here so once he's finished finger wagging at everybody all of a sudden we should uh, get people going and start building it. Here we go. So they're over there. This person is bringing the the building materials. What is this up here? I've just seen uh, problems. Build a lumber mill. Children are not being educated. We pause for a second. People have nowhere to pray. Taverns not functioning. Alcohol production is absent. So this is basically giving us a little list of uh, whatever we do. And then enemy is plotting. Apparently, your relation with one or several kings has fallen below minus fifteen. Although if there is still room to fall before armed conflict begins, if you don't improve your relations. Expect aggressive actions and intrigues from them, such as bribing your lords, hiring your assassins for robberies, and so on. To protect yourself from intrigues, place patrols near the hall, library, and lords' houses, and try to raise the loyalty of your lords higher to defend against bribery and seduction. Also, happy lords have a chance to become loyalists who cannot be bribed. So, it's Edwin from Treewood. Ah, uh, oh, so, Bobette is being held captive in within our own lands. Is it this guy? It is. Puts up with the bandits. He's, he hates the culture. Is the bandits... Are they the ones in my, my area? So I've got these little... Uh, to contain migration. Bribe the locals to spread rumours throughout the province that there is dangerous disease in your city. Okay. Basic resources. This is what they provide me, is it? Okay, I think it is. Uh, right. Yeah, already there is a lot going on, but we can we can make a start. It's it's helpful that they're giving us a list of the problems up there, so we can um, make a start on things. 
So what do we want? We want a lumber mill. We'll place that. Uh, place that there. Now the annoying thing is, is that uh, actually that's okay. It doesn't look like this person needs a of that building, so he doesn't need anything to be managed. Uh, hire an assistant. One lord can comfortably manage more than ten buildings, and you can also hire a free lord to assist them. Upgrade buildings. It's better to upgrade existing buildings than build new ones. This not only provides a productivity bonus, but also reduces travel time. Since the managing lord must visit many buildings, it's best to construct these buildings in one area close to warehouses and the temple, for example, to the north of the hall. This way you can easily manage 25 plus buildings in operation until you lock, unlock the chancellery. Okay, well, I mean, the, the they're not that spaced out. I, I'm hoping that won't be too much of a problem. But yeah, at the moment... So that one doesn't need managing. This one is not going to need managing either, I doubt. But obviously you'll just assign people to read books and create stuff as and when you need them to. Yep. Uh, offer over any character's portrait to see social thoughts contribute to their relationship with them. Yeah, okay. So if I hover over Bob. And then do this. Where is it? Here. Small child's son. So yeah, we don't we don't really have too many relationships right now anyway. What was he doing? Are we walking oh he's walking in company. Uh that's fine. They're over there now building the, the Rupert Targa field, and then after that we can then build the lumberjack and get some resources going there as well. Bob too had a heartfelt conversation with Bob. Relationships and smell. <laughs> right, so if I go into if I click on this. Here, rubitagas are grown. The harvest is collected every day. Every 10 days, the field requires fertilization by burning 20 wood. And three workers can produce 32 rubitagas. I'm assuming that's every day. Distributing instructions to the workers. Product, uh, production bonus is 132%. Side effect, need for rest. So, have we got... Does it tell us how many... We're going to apparently get up to five migrants today. Healthy, unemployed workers needed for open jobs. We actually don't have enough work to go around at the moment, which is a bit worrying. So we do need the migrants to come in by the look of it. It even tells you how long it takes them to get there. 24 minutes or 9 minutes to get to the warehouse. So is the warehouse here then? It's actually already it's taken one of the workers away and made them into a farmer. Yeah, it has. So that's, it's automatically doing it, which is kind of cool. Takes away a little bit of it at the moment. There almost certainly will be a need to micromanage that a little bit finer as the game goes on. But yeah, that's a solid, that's a solid start. I think we've kind of food and, and alcohol production now um, is 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 fine. With our alcohol production, I might be lying, actually. It's the hop field that we need, isn't it? And I don't think we can get that unless we buy a book and learn about hop fields. So a lot of the stuff you, un you unlock, not through like a research tree, but just by teaching your characters how to do it. And you can get books from trade. I don't know if you can get them from anywhere, so if you can scavenge them, I, have, I genuinely don't know. Um, okay, can master use forestation on the map can lead to decrease in soil fertility. There's a lot going on, isn't there? Lords who left or were disowned from their family and did not join another. They arrive with the holy caravans and can be hired with holy rings. Okay. While waiting to be hired, they stand uh, at the entrance of your hall. The contract will last for 10 days, after which the Lord will leave. Free Lords can be assigned to any task, teaching, going on campaigns against bandits, managing buildings, facilitating training, and more. If a hired Lord becomes friends with your king, you will be able to invite them into your family and grant them a title. Okay. That is useful to know. Have we got, uh, have we got a traveling caravan coming in already, have we? There's an arrow pointing this way, which suggests... Yes, we do. Look. Look at all these people. 
Look at him and his entourage. I'm going to suggest there's some prisoners in there. There are indeed prisoners. So there's a Tanayan prisoner. Prisoners work three hours longer than free peasants, which increases productivity. They do not require payment. Just set their consumption limits in the finance menu. Uh, prisoners live in prison wards. Knowledge of keeping prisoners is required for its construction. Prisoners, especially the unhappy ones, sometimes their attempt is to escape place patrols near the prison wards and their workplaces. And they can start riots and stuff like that. So maybe not just yet. So if we did construction, we've got patrols there and we don't have a prison wards. We don't have said knowledge, which is absolutely fine. Uh, right, you need a manager as well. So Bob will begin managing that one. That is producing Rubitaga, which is good. Uh, right, quickly look at the look at the finance section. So at the end of every night, they will get a wage. So at the moment, we're paying them five wage. And beer is costing them five. Moonshine, once we start producing that, hopefully within the not-too-distant future. Um, oh, we can produce that. We can use Rubitago to produce that. Okay, that's cool. Um, we only cost three. So at the bare minimum, we're saying that one piece of Rubitago and one piece of Moonshine is going to cost seven. So either we reduce the cost by doing that so that they can actually pay for pay for things so that's that's fine so we're going to pay them a little bit more to allow that money to so we're basically giving them money to give us give it straight back to us which is fine we, i think you can pay them a little bit more and then they can build up savings and stuff but i think there is an element of benefit to that i guess maybe happiness at the very least so we'll have to see how that pans out Right, so we've got some some migrants that have come to the city, so we are now at 12, which means we are probably going to have to build another dormitory. So we'll build that. Um, so how many warriors have we got? We've got five warriors. Value of the equipment is 535 gold. Average combat skill is one. Frequent negative thoughts is the... Oh, they don't have anywhere to sleep themselves. We need, a, we need a barracks for them then. We need iron. How much iron have we got? We've got 20. That's fine. We'll build a, we'll build a barracks for them. Here comes our trader. We use Bob to do the trading. So the higher trade skill they have... It's a shame we don't have Bobette here. And the higher trading skill they have, the more... Uh, likely you are to get sizable discounts. It's weird that the market here is sell selling flour, selling rubatago and stuff, but it looks like they're actually getting their food from over here. A tavern. Okay, maybe maybe it's just that the, the stuff needs to be distribu distributed from the hall. Right, here we go. An arm of the church engaged in trade between uh, between cities and serves as a primary source of gold and holy rings. In addition to standard resources, the caravan trades in books and prisoners. Um, an army, and blah, blah, blah. They are protected by and managed by the Inquisition. Typically, they visit the settlement every two or three days. Don't forget to buy books from the caravan trader. Bookmark icon in the trading menu. Right, here we go. So let's get Bob to do some trading. Right, here we go. So this is what we have over on the left-hand side and the values, and this is what he has and what we can buy from them. So here we go. So this is where we can buy books. Peasants has allows the construction of peasants' houses through the construction menu. I don't know. Being studied in the knowledge menu to study, at least level three intelligence is recommended. Scaffold, we've got temple, herbalist. Fertilizing fields uses up half the amount of wood. Produce more, more ruby target. Enables the production of flavored ale. You need a level nine intelligence. Your Lord's Mores are twice as skilled in using bows regardless of their skill. The book is written in Varn, which is important to know because if we buy a book that's in the wrong language, we can't learn it. And these are the prisoners that we have. I don't actually think we need any. We've got one unemployed person at the moment so i don't think we necessarily need it at the moment 
um, so what do we want to buy then? What what is it from these books? I mean, the peasant's house. I mean, the dormitory. Does that not serve as? Hold the line, caller. Let's have a look at the uh, the housing. I mean, it's not there, is it? Okay. We've got plenty of gold, so we'll take that book there. Um, we'll take the temple, because I think that's one of the things they were whinging about, that they have no place to pray. Herbalist, what would that be? Potentially able to go and grab food from the, from the forest, also maybe grab medicinal herbs to create remedies and other bits and pieces. Yeah, I think that's probably enough for now. Minus 15 in favor of the trader due to the d difference in trade skill. Yeah, because his trading is eight and we're five. So we're trying to barter with somebody who's a better barterer than we are. So it's going to cost us 206 plus six more. So it's actually going to cost us 212 because Bob doesn't know how to negotiate properly. Right. Let's do that. We'll do the trade. Do we need any other resources? I don't think we do. Not really. We've got enough stuff to cover ourselves and we make we'll we start we'll start making other things as well. I'm not worried about prisoners. Oh hang on. These these are prisoners, right? You also have I wonder if you can sell, can you sell the prisoners back? Is there uh, something we can see on on prisoners somewhere? Hmm. I was kind of hoping we'd we'd see something on the prisoners. Uh okay, right, we'd already we've already bought those books, that's fine. Um in which case, I think we're going to leave it for there. I don't I don't necessarily think we need... We're not in desperate need of more peasants for the moment. That is absolutely fine. So he will um, stand around for a while, I presume. Maybe he's not just come... I'm not, they've not come in and stolen all my food, by the way. Where is food and drinks? Consumed by lords and prisoners. So we've only got two lords, right? Which will be Bob and Bob the Second. So I don't think we're actually losing, losing any more. So I think we're okay. Okay. Let's carry on. Bob needs to go over there and do his thing. We haven't received any instructions on how to how to do that. So this is a tavern. Do we have a brewery production? We need a brewery, don't we? We'll put a uh, put a brewery up there. Get that built. ASAP and then the books in here. So if we go into our into our knowledge, I think we'll have books in here, will we? Oh, we've actually got some already. We've actually got hot field and beer. We've got mine. We've got temple, which I think we bought. Keeping prisons allows the construction of the prison ward. Peasants house. Okay, so we have actually got some stuff already, which is which is good. Look at the knowledge levels already in the textbooks that we've already got here. It's kind of mad. So in order to do something, so if I go to action here, educate, no actors available for this session, social. So how do we teach? I can't remember how we teach him something. Oh, this is unavailable knowledge. Oh, I'm so Oh, no, wait. Unavailable knowledge is in grey, right? Knowledge is currently available. Holy caravan will bring books containing... Quite confused by all this. Okay, so these are things we could have potentially. <laughs> it's not, I don't, if it's just me, but it doesn't look like it's very well laid out. Anyway, um, it'd be nice to make beer rather than moonshine, but I think a temple is quite important. So we're going to have this be learnt. After studying the book, the character will be able to create a copy of it using paper. The action will be performed daily as long as it's possible. Until you cancel it, the action generates a need for rest. That's fine. 
So Bob will uh, will get cracking on that. Lots of chatting going on. Uh, right, and also, how do we how do we get you back? Some unfortunate and hungry people leaving your town have resorted to becoming bandits and see no other option for survival. They will occasionally attack your settlement until you deal with them. There are six bandits. Your neighbours and the Church of Holy Sophia, represented by the Matriarch, will be grateful when you destroy bandit camps. They're light fighters. The bandit camp will be destroyed. Possible loot. Okay, if there are hostages in the camp, they will be liberated in the case of victory. So... Create new squad. So how do we... Okay. Commander. Hang on. He's the, yeah, he's the commander. Is that right? Engage in battle with a squad of squad of six fighting individuals consisting of light fighters. Okay, can we send the army? What am I missing here? Loyalty is minus 50. Is that because we've allowed her to be captured? I want to attack her. Ah, that's right. It's this, it's this way. Right, here we go. Uh, right, we'll give... So they've all got a weapon. Two of them have got armor. Okay. So that's how you do it. Squad Bob! Victory chance of oh, only 50%. Hired warriors may desert near the city if they're in a bad mood of 25 or below. Do we... I don't want to risk losing people. 50%. What the fuck is that? I don't want to risk losing people. Oh, and now it's 58%. Why is it all of a sudden... Why is the chances all of a sudden going up? Oh, is it because we've given... Look, <laughs> I love the armor they've got. Is it because they're now all getting their weapons and they're ready to rock and roll? The warriors are armed and ready. There we go. Right. Has the chances now gone up? 59%. Should we do it? Well, I don't really know what else I can do. Can we hire those prisoners, do you think? <laughs> Ooh, we could hire you, actually, couldn't we? Hire a lord. Hire a, a free lord for 10 days. You'll be able to sign them the same time. Yeah, we'll hire you. Bob, go and do some hiring. I think he's ready for war. He wants to go to war. Can we... Um, victory chance is going up all the time. Waiting to be... I want to hire you. How do I... Can I adjust what his... What he is currently doing? Right, let's just disband that for the moment. See if... There we go. Now he's going to go and hire the Lord. Okay, we'll do that. So what do they do with all... Oh, they hand it all back in. Okay, that's interesting. So when you disband it, they all hire it back in. Right. Has, has the Lord been hired?
trader is now leaving. Can we hurry up, please? Right, there we go. Right, for tomorrow we attack. It's sleep time for now. Uh, Bob the second is, for some reason, sleeping on the floor, not in the bed. Our Lord can now go in there. So let's have a look at your skills. What you got? Oh, combat and command. You're also pretty good. Are you actually better than us? Yeah, you are. Right, Merit. Merit, tra you're, I mean, I don't know what it will say. And uh, Tanaya, are they not? I oh, know they're okay with us. That's fine. I don't know what it would say to my wife if we don't turn up to do the uh, to do the fighting. You've got some nice stuff in your inventory as well. Right, end of day one, economic report, gold balance has gone up by 332. Apparently, yeah, that's, that's, has it? Goods sold in the local market, resources invested in the local market. Hmm, not so sure about that, because I'm pretty sure our gold was at 2,500, was it not? So how has it gone up by 332? Okay, we'll, uh, we'll keep a little close eye on that. All right, to work, everybody. By clicking on the icon in the to-do list at the top of the character menu, you can command the Lord to meet. Ah, there's a to-do list. Is Oh, is it here? Inspection today, not inspected. Okay, we'll leave, we'll wait, we'll wait for the studying. No, no, we're going to have something to eat first. Right, six problems. Build a lumber mill, yes. Children not being educated, yes. So how do we educate the children then? Or can can you do it? Okay, so we can do it like this. So can Bob not do that then? Oh, he can as well. So if I tell him to do, ah, right now, now you have to select the teacher. Okay. I suspect. Oh, teaching, no, Bob, it's not a great at that either. Okay. Right. Let's reassess our army, shall we? Create a new squad. You'll come in as well. There we go, right. Assemble the minions. Warriors are armed and ready. Right, let's go let's go and do this. 64% chance of success. So where? Where are they? Are they going off map or are we going to be able to see this battle? It looks like annoyingly they're going off map. Bob 2 has gained a new... How is he gaining levels? No one's teaching him. How is he gaining levels? I thought you had to be taught. That's fine. Whatever. Right. Off to war. I really wish we could see this. Oh, fuck me. It's going to take ages for them to get there as well. Does that break there mean that they stop for a day and make camp? No, that's good. Okay, we are still going to get there and back in the same day with a bit of luck, though. 
I really wanted to see this fight. In the garrison. People, priests with spears by the look of it. New battle, here we go. Right, what happens? Battle on the map, auto battle, your army will retreat. Okay, here we go. So mood 72, equipment, plenty of equipment. Combat skill five, combat skill two. Okay, this is... Uh, this is going to be a close one. We're going to watch. This could be the shortest video series in history if, if our king dies. So can I command these lot? I can. Target archers, protect the archers. So if we get close enough, we can hopefully do a bit of damage with the archers before they get too close. We're coming for you, Bobette. So when are they going to... How close do I have to get before the archers can attack? Did we actually bring archers? Yeah, we have got two archers in there. Unleash your arrows. My God, they're slow to shoot. Attack! Apparently, Bob is can can off. Hang on. Uh, sometimes wounds are merely bruises and minor cuts, but inflamed wounds can be dangerous as they can fester within a couple of days, causing gangrene. Gangrene is in incurable and fatal, so a character who reaches at this stage will soon die. To prevent this, wounds must be treated with medical salve before they reach that point. Wounded characters do this on their own, and no direction, act, no direct action is taken part or is needed on your part. Stored in the warehouse, injured lawns and words will retrieve it themselves when they need it. It's very important that you always have a few around. We've lost a couple of warriors. I think we're winning though. We've still got six. I've only got three left. I want to see Bob decapitate someone. Oh, he was... He just got up. He's risen. It's the Undertaker. He's risen from the dead. I think this is... Is this their leader over here? What am I clicking on here? They're already attacking. I think you can tell just by the bloody look. The enemy commander has surrendered. And then he whacked him. <laughs> I surrender. Bang. <laughs> So now what then? Do we just continually Okay, well they're still they're still putting up a fight anyway. He surrendered again and then we still killed him. No surrender. Deployed. Oh, we captured all of them. Okay, so we knocked them down but didn't kill them. Okay. So maybe there is a different animation for when they're actually dying, but yeah, we just knocked them down and forced them to surrender. So we've now got six prisoners, I think. Okay. Bandit camp destroyed. Relationship with your neighbors is now plus five. Attitude of the matriarch towards your king is good. We gain ourselves six prisoners and 150 loot. And hostage Bobette has been freed and will soon return to your city. <gasps> Love to see it. So they are now heading back home. It'll take them two hours. So it won't be until practically the end of the day. And they repeat. Right, so Kaiden here... Right, there we go. So we are okay now. He hates the culture. His opinion of you is only minus one, but it was over minus 15, which is which was the problem, right? So we're we're okay now. But there we go. Bobette is on her way back. Oh, and everything else has been built as well. Lovely old job. Right, so now we can produce some, some stuff. Uh, right, we need to wait for people to come home and then we can start divvying out orders and bits and pieces. Lumber camp still has not produced a damn thing. Did we get the barracks built? We did. So the barracks now, we've got somewhere for our uh, warriors to stay. We've got another home for our dormitory. So everyone should be happy. 
Prisoners are warriors captured in the battle of former or former vagabonds who have been punished for their crimes. They require special handling. Prisoners work three hours longer than free peasants. Yeah, we, we know all about that. That's fine. We've also had four migrants turn up. So do I now need to disband my army? I think probably, I don't know. maybe I don't. We'll see what they do. If they all come back and just hand their stuff back in, we should be okay. But what we do need to maybe learn, where was the, do we have a prisoner thing? Keeping prisoners, yeah, we need to learn this. Um, Bobette can learn that. And Meritra can learn that. And then what we'll do is we'll give, uh, Meritra can do that one since you're really freaking good at it. Bob can continue to do that one. Okay. In which case, if Bob isn't doing anything else, do we get him to we'll get him to learn Peasant's House? So everybody's doing a bit of studying. Then we need to think about how what we're doing with old, with Bob too. So these peasant, these prisoners, then. Oh, I've got the traders turned up as well. Uh, okay, so let's get. So Bob is still the. Uh, only person who can really do it. Well, what books have you brought me today? Persuasion Volume 3. And it's only it's written in uh Tanaya. So Meritra can do that. So do that we've got paper, we've got five papers. So when he learns that, does that mean we can use the paper to write it in the Varn language so that we can actually use it and allow other people to learn from it? Um the negative th thought brought on by consuming and signing the privilege would be half as strong. Okay. Uh, Tanaya shields. Your shield-bearing laws and warriors are twice as well protected against arrows regardless of their skill. That could be useful. Let's get that. The mace stun. Three chance to daze. A special diet mental state will help slow down aging, causing it to begin ten days later. You have to personally stun it. And then we've got flavor hooder. Effective preaching. Okay. Got this, yeah, we'll get the scaffold and we'll get the herbalist as well. That's fine. Okay. Right, and everything is happy. And Bob is now so they by performing tasks they actually go up in the skill as well, which is good. So he was victorious in battle. Pain from injury. So he's only in pain. He's only in pain. He's not injured. He's going to have sex, everybody. What do you do when you rescue your wife before you've had a chance to tend to your wounds? You go and get it on. Waiting for partner. <laughs> Apparently they have to do some kind of... Some kind of, Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> it even tells me Bob and Bob are spending time in bed. Oh, God. I'm going to get demonetized. Having sex. Well... I feel like I'm invading their privacy here. Can't stop watching. <laughs> right, well, we'll see whether or not this... Uh, I'm hoping maybe the pain from injury will disappear. Maybe he'll be so high on life. And it even shows, look, it shows they're naked at the moment. She's full of energy, so she's good. Hopes for the future, so she is very, very happy. Loyalty is at 50. Yeah, there is... Uh, all is right in the world. There we go. Right, so let's just let's just check out Bob. So he's got no thoughts. He's completely <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bob is the most fertile man in the world. One sex, instant child. Oh dear me. Right, well we're uh we're gonna have another child coming in. I, I do hope that that means that every time they have sex, it doesn't immediately mean that she gets pregnant. But of course, this is the Dark Ages as well, right? We are in the Middle Ages or whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean the child is going to be born um, without complications and things. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm was i sort of surprised that it hasn't... So the birth of the office is expecting is 71 hours. 
Initially, they may experience nausea and slowed walking. Shortly before giving birth, the character will be unable to walk. There was a small chance of both the mother and the baby dying. Oh, dear. That would be very, very bad if that happened. When the lords are married, they fulfill this need every few days. Outside of marriage, characters can bribe peasants for this purpose, which is considered a sin and leads to a guilty conscience. Choose a peasant of the opposite gender and order your lord to bribe them if you want to meet this need immediately. So if she was like... Um, you can see, look, she's gone green. <laughs> um... So, yeah, if if Bobette had stayed in jail or uh, as captive, as a prisoner for too much longer, the sex need may have become too too much for Bob to deal with and he may have had to satisfy his needs with one of the uh, the village townsfolk. Um, so, yes, there we go. So we are... We're good. Why have we lost some holy rings, by the way? I could have swore we had 20 or did or did you get some? Oh, you've got some. So some, some have been distributed, have they? We still had 20. You've got five. Bob's got 14. So where's the other one gone? Someone dropped one? Right, anyway. <laughs> there we go. What a what a dramatic end to episode one. I really like this, actually. It's very intriguing. There's lots going on. It seems pretty deep, um, but not crazy deep that it's sort of off-putting. So, yeah, we're definitely going to continue with this one. Thank you very much for sticking with me um, for this quite long first episode. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, whether they're going to be sort of this length or whether I can condense them a little bit. Uh, we'll see how we go. But, yeah, lots to do, lots to see and prepare for, lots more to build and learn. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, our impending birth. So thank you very much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you all in episode number two.